Good morning, my name is Christelle from Franz Clark Independent Technical Analyst. The first one on our list is NetBank. We can see that the share is currently caught in a sending triangle. Now, it is on the Williams percentage R indicator, it is nicely oversold, which means the probability for the instrument to bounce to higher levels is more likely. Um, but it needs to get into that upper, that lower band and starts to support the share going forward to maybe reach the upper band again and break upwards. Now, an ascending triangle can become a continuation pattern should that upper band change into a support, meaning that the rally that we've seen within the pause can be extended on the upside as well. If we change this to a candle graph, we can see the, 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 well, the support will change a little bit, but we can see that there is higher lows nevertheless on the lower shadows of the candles, and that is seen as positive. It means that every time the share pulls back, there are investors that accumulate the share and protect the price a little bit higher. Now, my 40-week moving average is the critical level of resistance that needs to change into a support, and this is waiting at 280 rand 92. Above that level, the long-term sentiment towards net bank will change to positive again. Now, what is nice about the Williams percentage R indicator, when the minus 50 level of it changes into a support coming from oversold levels, it means that the momentum to the top can escalate. So we're not there yet, but something one can consider should you want to start accumulate net bank. Obviously, below this lower band of 201 Rand 86, the tears will flow again, and we can assume then that the momentum to the bottom can continue. Glencore. Also, want to first start off with a line graph on Glencore. It just takes out a lot of the noise, and we can see that this share is clearly caught within a symmetrical triangle. Now, a symmetrical triangle is an uncertain pattern. Why? Because should that upper band change into a support, we can assume again that the momentum to the top can continue. After the rally we've seen within the pause in the triangle, the momentum can um, escalate. However, should this lower band change into a resistance, we can see some downside and profit taking increase. Now, very important, have a look. My, Williams, my upper band is waiting very close, actually almost on top of the 40 week moving average. And that is waiting at 108 Rand 29. And that just highlights the importance of that resistance that needs to be overcome. It tells us that at that level, the buyers need to become stronger and overpower the sellers, no matter what their levels are, in order to take the share price to higher levels. Now, if we look at the Williams percentage R indicator, it's nicely oversold, sitting on a minus 73, which means the probability for the instrument to bounce to higher levels is more likely. Now, obviously, the 108.29 is a critical level that needs to remain in place, and this lower band support, waiting at 100 Rand 60, needs to remain in place should we want to see higher levels on Glencore going forward. Keep in mind, this year has had a massive rally, but it doesn't mean that's the end necessarily. The symmetrical triangle is saying uncertainty. Above that upper band, optimism, but below it, some profit taking first. Nasbars. The graph of Nasbars and Prisus almost looks like a replica of one another. Very similar in pattern. Now, my Williams percentage R, remember these are weekly graphs, is sitting at a minus 54, but it looks like it wants to turn around. And if that minus 50 level changes into a support, it means that the momentum to the top can escalate. Right. So Nasdaq looks, I mean, the, the high there was in the week of the 23rd of January. On a line graph, it was 3,539.54. Tested this neckline a couple of times, waiting at 2,985 rand and 8 cents. Now, in the bounces, the shares sick, well, one third high that is made is waiting there at 3,460.90. My 40 week moving average, represented by the red line, is waiting at 
184 and 82. Below that level, the long-term sentiment towards NASPERS will change to negative. But we might be sitting here with an ugly inverse cup and handle formation. Should and the negativity or the warning around this formation will only be confirmed once the neckline, and I'll give you that exact, we've spoken about this, changes into a resistance. And that is waiting at that level of 2,985 Rand and 8 cents. Only when the share price starts to consolidate above that 3,460 Rand 90, only the highest part of any of the handles. Once the shares start to trade above it, we can assume then that the warning of this possible inverse cup and handle formation will be off the table. If I zoom out, very important thing to note as well, this bounce was a little bit lower than this bounce, was a little bit lower than this bounce. And that implies lower highs on the very long term on NASPERS, which is seen as negative. But we know this thing just leads a little bit of a, a light and, the, and it connects with the fuel and it fires off again. So that critical level that needs to um, be watched is this top part of the handle there. Above it, we can say, listen, all the warnings is off the table. This share can reach for a brand new recent record high again. Don't underestimate that 40 week moving average below it. The long term sentiment will change to negative. Have a look how beautifully the investors protected the 40 week moving average year in that week of the 19th of June. On a line graph, it did not even go as low to touch it, but they supported it above the 40 week moving average. And that is seen as very, very positive. On a candle graph, however, which highlights the lows of the session as well, we can see it takes, tested that 40 week moving average, kept it as support and bounced from it. And that is what we call a positive technical goodbye kiss, which is seen as very positive. Now look at a candle graph. We are approaching that 40 week moving average very rapidly, very fast. And below it, the long term sentiment will change to negative. And look at the candle graph for the last three weeks, other than this week, for the last three weeks, starting in the week of the 31st of July, every week, my high was a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. That tells me that there, as soon as there is the slightest of a bounce, there are investors that are taking profit in NASPERS, and that is seen as negative. So let's hope that there are some investors that start to protect this year. And as I've said, this graph looks very similar to the um, process graph. So yeah, the story remains the same. Another request was for the RAND against the pound. Obviously at very, very weak levels at the moment, 24 Rand and 5 cents. Obviously my Williams percentage are, look at that, was not even in overbought territory at the moment, but started to turn around, heading for downwards, which tells me that I can soon see a stronger Rand against the pound. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this might be a um, possible double top formation. And a double top formation will only be confirmed once that neckline changes into a resistance. And that is waiting on a line graph at 22 Rand 63. Below 22 Rand 63, I can expect a stronger Rand against the pound. These are weekly graphs. And very important, this line is also for that possible double top. It's also waiting very closely to my 40 week moving average. And below the 40 week moving average on a weekly graph, I expect a stronger rand against the pound. But as long as the rand trades above it, I can expect a weaker rand. The warning or the negativity, depending on which side of the currency you want to be, will only be wiped off the table once the highest part of the loops, waiting at 24 and 30. Above 24 and 30, I can say, listen, I expect a weaker rand against the pound. This possible double top formation is off the table and we can see even greater record highs. So for those of you who need to make decisions, I think we can expect a stronger rand against the pound unless the rand starts to consolidate above that 24 um, 30 level. It's very close to that. If I look at a, a candle graph, it's a little bit higher on a candle graph that becomes 2474 above that level, a weaker rand. But with these uh, that William percentage are turning around 
and the lower highs look at that on a candle graph we can see lower highs starting to form i expect in the short term for the moment a stronger rand against the pound and ladies and gentlemen the other thing i just want to highlight i'm running out of time here is a, last week was a possible shooting star candle appearing at the top of a rally but the negativity around that candle or the profit taking around that candle will only be confirmed when the following candle is a bearish type of candle and that will only be finished or complete by friday's close so if that is a bearish any type of bearish red candle you can say listen i expect a stronger rand against the pound as long as the rand remains below 2450 on a, a weekly graph based on last week's high you don't forget to send through your request for talking techno technical next week either via twitter or to our email address admin at franzdeclerc.com have a fantastic week take care